director Ivan Ostrel, after a freak accident, extended exposure to bad video games now causes him to transform into the Shovel Werewolf. Presented with his final test, he faces a decision that could at long last lead to his freedom. You been standing there for a week. Huh. Sorry, what? I could have literally taken a vacation and been back by now. It's a big decision, okay? It's time to decide, Shovel Werewolf. Fine, we have a deal. Cool. Complete those two games using the Power Glove, and your freedom shall be yours. I'll be in touch. <sighs> One more test between me and freedom. like a glove. A tiny baby glove. Ugh. All right, which one of you fecal doodads is first? Well, this one has bad right in the title. So let's give you a crack first. Um, do I have a twitch? Going out the airlock is starting to seem pretty good right about now. Ah! This game alone is complete trash, but trying to play it with this wonky laser glove is just asking for trouble. It's like knowing you have diarrhea. But deciding to eat extra spicy chili anyway! Why would anyone choose this? And I can't even get this thing to center on screen properly! Why even give me the option if the programmers just designed it to do whatever the heck it wants? Ah! to burn through all of my lives just trying to reach the next stage. Clearing this first stage alone is an exercise in futility and patience. <sighs> ah, ah. Not to mention an actual exercise. I'm gonna tear a rotator cuff just playing this trash. Yeah. 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 Ah! Super glove ball! More like Super Dung Ball! <laughs> Alright, Bad Street Brawler! Let's see if you live up to your name! Huh? <sighs> how is this game programmed worse than the last one? Like seriously, how is it even possible? Hey Dipwad! I'm literally stationary! You got some sort of condition or something? <laughs> ah! Why? Why, Mattel? Why did you invent this hunk of junk? And why did you pair it with these janky abominations? They needed an incinerator, not a glove attachment! Turns out Bad Street Brawler is all about running and cowering in fear. I guess that is a pretty terrible way to street brawl. <laughs> ha! I did it! I finally beat a single stage using the Power Glove. It's a Christmas miracle! All it takes is avoiding every enemy until the boss, and then a healthy dose of lucky, wild flailing! <sighs> Ha <laughs> 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 
<laughs> See? A foolproof strategy! <laughs> no! Stop trying to grab him, you idiot! Just run! Run, Forrest, run! <laughs> well, it was a good strategy, until this Duke Nukem knockoff decided he would rather get beaten to death by gorillas. Which, to be honest, sounds like a better option than finishing this game for either of us. How am I even supposed to do anything when this guy is freaking out this badly? <sighs> at least the other peripherals worked. They weren't good, but I could at least play the friggin' games with them. I would have better luck trying to play this with a potato than this stupid thing! <laughs> That's it! I've had it! It's hard enough to move, let alone defend against these fuchsia-colored crap bags! <sighs> it doesn't help that these games are complete garbage to begin with! Making me play them with a power glove just adds to the misery! It's like farting through your nose! Bad Street Brawler, thank you for your honesty! <sighs> <sighs> I hate the power glove! It's so bad! Bravo, Shovel Airwolf! Well done! Yeah, I get it. I failed. On the contrary, you succeeded! Not in earning your freedom, but stripping away everyone else's! What the heck are you babbling about? I was counting on that outburst, you fool! Did you really think that our bargain was fair? That I would ever set you free? You took everything from me! I don't even know who you are! Now. <laughs> but, but how? I saw your filthy wife beater wearing body blown to smithereens! And who do you think blew me to smithereens? <sighs> Prince Tricky? Bingo! See, I'm from a different universe than you is, wolf boy! Where I come from, it was you who was blown to pieces. I was taken aboard the alien spacecraft and crowned their leader. I then took the title of Prince Tricky based on one of the greatest video game sidekicks to ever- No, don't say it. That character is complete and utter garbage. Hey, he's underdeveloped. And why would members of the PC Master Race make you their leader? That doesn't make any sense. I was getting to that, but you just can't keep your hair yap shut, can you? Dang it, I don't remember where I was. You were saying something incredibly stupid. Oh yeah, that's right. So Toe Jam and Earl, they is rejects from the PC Master Race. They got booted out for using them peripherals and controllers instead of just a keyboarding mouse. As their leader, they'll do anything I tell them to do. Like carrying in that mech controller that you totally could have just beamed down? Yeah, they're complete idiots. <laughs> Clearly, if they made you their leader. He ain't wrong there. <laughs> With their technology, I've been traveling from universe to universe, destroying all other versions of us and channeling their life energies into this, the Power Gauntlet. What's it do? Work properly? No, it... Heh, <laughs> loser. One snap of my fingers and the entire universe will be forced to play nothing but foolsy games. Only then will they learn of his true greatness. <laughs> and all clothing will become fursuits, am I right? Make all the jokes you want to show a werewolf. I am inevitable. The life energies from the multiverse gave this jolt its power, and your rage helped fuel it. I don't feel so good. Now we're playing with power. <laughs> <laughs> 